Today we're going to tell you what's going on with the Sarasota Metropolitan housing market. And as of right now, things are looking kind of bleak, but there is a glimmer of hope that we'll give you at the end of the video. So let's dig into all the data. According to Rocket Homes, we're still very much in a seller's market in the Venice, Sarasota area. Here you can see that 10% of homes were sold above asking and 68% of homes sold were sold actually below asking. So that's not looking too good if you're looking to buy a home right now. Sort of looking like a seller's market. As we get into the data, you'll see some more about some of the nuance of everything though. So overall, the Venice housing market, it's still leaning towards a seller's market. And as we get into some more of the data, let's show you a little bit of the details of how everything's working out. You know, you gotta talk about supply, you know, list price, all that kind of stuff. So kicking things off with new listings, Right now, you can see it's trending down and, you know, we're at the time of year where I think we're at the tail end of the, the winter rush, I guess you could say, you know, so we'll see kind of how that plays out. Usually it seems like there's a little bit more action going on during the winter. Also, another factor that I think is affecting the new listings is that interest rates just went up again for the first time since November. We're now sitting at 7.1% interest rate. So. I think that's an interesting dynamic too, because that affects not just people that want to buy a home, but like people that like maybe want to sell their home to buy a home. Cause it's like, well, I don't want to go buy another home and then have a higher interest rate and pay more for less house. It just doesn't make sense for most people. Then on to off market in two weeks, you can see that's somewhat steady, slightly on the rise right here. You know, nothing all that notable at this point, but it is down compared to what it was during the, the crazy time. I guess During the past two years, the new listing median price, it's somewhat flat, but it is trending up. Which gives you an idea of what's kind of going on a little bit in the market. You know, prices have been so weird the last year and a half just because of all the dynamic with interest rates, everyone trying to figure the market out. But it seems like demand has sort of came back because I think some people yes. are sort of just getting used to the interest rates being what they are and, and maybe they have to move or they're getting impatient. So I think a little more people are getting bold with trying to list a little bit higher and most buyers what they're doing is you know they're realizing that interest rates are staying so they're just lowering their budget so that they can actually find homes that fit their monthly budget so this will be interesting to see how that correlates with how much they're actually selling for the listing price is up the sales price overall the, the last few like months has been kind of or somewhat flat but slightly trending down but if you look a little closely here, you can see it is kind of trending back up as of right now. We'll see how that plays out. You know, I think with summer months coming, you might see some more deals out there because places are going to sit more just because there's not as many people, especially in the this Venice, Sarasota, Northport areas during the, the summer months. Yes, and most people that are looking to buy during the summer are people, you know, younger families that maybe want to be here right before the school year starts. So there will be some transactions out there. It's just not as many as in the winter when all the snowbirds are here. People are up from the northern parts of the country trying to move down to Florida because it's warmer here during the winter. So the demand is down, but I don't think it's going to be quite as much as in previous years. And I one think one of the things to look out for too is the potential of, you know, more maybe places coming onto the market because this would be the time of year, okay, you had your last winter down in the area and maybe you decide, okay, I'm gonna list it and, and sell it, you know, and before I move back up north or where, whatever, you know, they're deciding to do. Let's take a look at days to close and that Slightly is trending up. Yeah, it was, it was flat. up yeah. and now it's yeah somewhat flat. Kind of that's a good indicator, I guess, of how many cash sales are happening, really. And it seems like a lot of that kind of seemed to die out yeah, know, after yeah. COVID and all that, you know, the, the, the boom of the market happened. So price drops are overall flat, which we have noticed here in the Venice, Sarasota area. A lot of homes that tend to sit longer on the market will have a price drop and actually end up selling for less in most instances. Yeah, and as you can see, it says percentage of active listings with price drops is 8.2%, which is pretty decent, I guess. You know, it shows you that there is some opportunities, like she said, you know, places that are sitting to maybe put in an offer and, and get a deal mm -hmm. if you want to, you know, some people are going to look at that as a deal right now. And some people are going to say, no, that's still way too much. But, you know, I guess it just depends on your situation and, and your perspective on what's going to happen with the market. And if you need a place or not. <laughs> yeah, if you need it now or yesterday. As far as months of supply goes, we are, it definitely has been trending down. So that's not good for buyers, probably better for sellers. As we've mentioned in previous videos, though, 
it also feels like even though there's low supply, demand is also down with it because of the cost of, you know, getting a new place and, and just what you would be moving from and into, you know, that dynamics is not working out in too many people's favors and probably no one's favor. So yeah, months of supply is down, does seem to be flattening out. Uh, we could maybe see that go up over the summer. What do you think about that as far as your personal experience of the local market? Because she's the realtor. I'm just, you know, sidekick guy. Yes, I do think that months of supply is going to go up right now in the summer. I think more people are going to be listing and less people are going to be buying. So because of that, we're going to see more supply, a lot less competition and a lot more demand. The average sale to list ratio is overall flat, but hovering around 97%. So that's good for buyers. Yeah, shows you that overall, I mean, of the places out there that you know, if it's going for 97% of that list price, you're probably going to be able, you know, there's a good chance of being able to get it below that list price. Again, every it depends on the house and the situation. Don't just think no matter what, you're going to be able to get a deal because maybe something's already listed at a deal. Yes, and a lot of times some homes that do sit on the market, it, it could be because of the size, maybe it's too small, maybe it's too big. But a lot of times homes that do sit on the market for a while, you might be able to get a deal on them. In some instances though, there are homes that do still sell within a day of being on the market. So it just depends on the home and the location. With that being said, if you're looking to buy or sell a home in the area, make sure to call, text, or email us. I am a local realtor here, 941-221-1897. Whether you're looking to move in the next couple days or the next few months, we'll always have your back. Make sure to subscribe to catch the newest market updates. Hit the like button if you found the video helpful. And if you wanna see more about what it's like to live in Venice, check out this video, Sarasota, this video, Northport, this video, or Inglewood, this video. Thanks for watching and live, live breezy. breezy.